this is my wife's first time attempting to drive a commercial greens mower. Vicky, you didn't do too bad for the first time. Anyways, back to the video. There's a lot of buzz in the lawn community right now about real mowers. And I feel privileged that I actually have two different types. I have a Toro Greensmaster and I have a McLean real mower. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the differences, the pros, the cons, and why you may want one over the other. Disclaimer, if you guys are on the fence about real mowing, just pull the trigger and get it done. These are the two different types of real mowers I'm going to cover today. This is a McLean real mower, which is more geared towards residential use. And this is a Toro Greens Master, which is a commercial grade real mower. The first mower that I'm going to talk about today is this McLean real mower. This is a cool little mower, I'm not going to lie. And there's a couple of things about it that I really like about it. Uh, first, it's maneuverability. I mean, this thing is so agile, it's not even funny. As you can see over here, it's sitting on top of my uh, workstation and we were able to get it up here, me and my wife, super easy. So it's really lightweight and you can move it around with ease. So if you're not built like me and uh, maybe you have a smaller frame or uh, you've been slacking at the gym a little bit, this mower actually might be a, a better option for you than a greens mower. Real quick, I want to demonstrate how easy it is to move and maneuver the McLean real mower. So I'm going to have my wife do a quick demonstration on how easily she can move it back and forth and around obstacles. Alright Bird, we're going to go ahead and do the demonstration. Just show how easy it is for you to maneuver around this mulch bed. Alright, so this thing is so light you can actually move it with one finger. And then backwards. Another awesome thing about the McLean is the height of cut adjustment. You could range the height of cut from a quarter inch all the way up to an inch and a half. So anybody who has tall grass or say your grass is at like three or four inches right now, if you want to bring your grass down slowly, the highest height of cut on here is one and a half inches. So it'll actually be easier for you to start real mowing right away, which is pretty cool because you know, once we get into the real low game, we just kind of want to start cutting the grass really fast, you know? Speaking of the high height of cut adjustments, this has a seven blade reel, which is actually preferable if you're mowing an inch or higher. So now that I went over some of the good things about the McLean, let's talk about some of the areas of improvement. The first thing that I don't like about this mower is how you sharpen it. When you take the side plate off, there's a gear on the side and you need a special attachment tool to attach onto that gear so you can back lap it. By the way, if you guys don't know what back lapping is, that's when you reverse the reel against the blade on the bottom and you use a lapping compound to sharpen it. Uh, so anyways, like I was saying, there's a gear on the side and you need a special attachment tool to attach to your drill. And that special tool costs over $50. And if you want to get a brand new reel on one of these things, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe they're like $500 for a brand new reel. Versus the Toro, it's only about $200 for a new reel. When I first bought this McLean, I was actually looking for ways that I could sharpen the reel. And I went on YouTube and I found an interesting video by a guy named Andrew Berry, who instead of using the tool, he actually used some of this stuff over here. Some of this black Gorilla tape. And he was able to attach it around the sprocket on the side. And he was able to sharpen it using that. What's funny is that I was kind of laughing at that video, but I actually ended up trying the duct tape method, which if any of you guys have a McLean, you're looking to sharpen it, I'll leave a link in the description below for his video. And surprisingly, it actually works. So props to you, Andrew. I do recommend that you get some of the heavy duty black Gorilla tape, because if you don't, the tape will fall off and you won't be able to sharpen it. Another thing that I'm particularly not fond of about this machine is it has a three and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine, which was the standard back then. Uh, this mower was made in 1996. And this engine uh, is a little bit lackluster, not to mention sometimes it's kind of hard to start and it's super loud. I mean, loud, loud, louder than any of my other 16 mowers that I have. But all in all, I don't want you guys to think that I'm actually knocking this McLean because I honestly think it's a great entry level reel mower uh, if you go on Facebook Marketplace, you can find them for pretty cheap. 
I picked up this one for about $200 and uh, if you're trying to find one, I mean, you can definitely look around and get a good deal. Uh, that's not to say that I don't use this mower because I actually use it for a lot of places in my lawn, especially for getting into those tight areas or uh, mowing my boulevard strip. I love using this thing on there. So it definitely comes in handy. One of the biggest reasons that people are drawn to real mowers is their ability to produce some of the most awesome stripes that you could see. But there is a caveat when it comes to the McLean. This bar right here is what produces the stripes in your lawn. Unfortunately, 90% of the McLeans on the used market don't come with this, with this roller. They actually come with some caster wheels. And let me tell you, those caster wheels suck. Because if you don't have a ping pong board smooth lawn, you're going to actually cause scalping. And that's definitely not cool. I'll tell you something funny. I paid $200 for this real mower. And I bought this roller online from Real Rollers, and it also cost $200. So if you think about it, I paid the same just for this front roller that came from China, by the way, and this real mower. But I will say, if you pick up one of these McLean real mowers, the front roller is definitely a must. Number one, you won't cause scalping. By using this roller, the lowest part of your bed knife will be at the bottom of the roller. So it prevents scalping. Not to mention this roller gives a pretty good striping effect, but it doesn't have the heavy drum on the back that will give you that ballpark striping effect. All right, so right now I'm gonna show you guys how the McLean stripes versus how the Greensmaster stripes. Since I also have a Toro Greensmaster, I primarily use my McLean for tight areas of the lawn including the boulevard strip at the end of my driveway and areas that I just need to be able to maneuver around a little bit better. Speaking of the Greensmaster, let's take a look at that. This bad boy right here is the creme de la creme of my lawn arsenal. Believe it or not, this Greensmaster is from 1989 and it still works brand new. Which brings me to my first point that I absolutely love about this machine. This thing is built like a tank. If it was a car, it would definitely be a Hummer H1. This mower is older than me, and it's still operating literally like it was a brand new machine. One of the best things that I like about it is that it starts up on the first pull every single time, like every time. When it comes to small engines, I'm a big fan of Kawasaki engines, and this has a Kawasaki FG150 engine, which was an awesome engine back in the day. One of my buddies is a golf course mechanic and he told me that the older model Greens Masters, I believe it's 2003 forward, come with a Subaru engine and they give him nothing but problems in the shop. So if you're looking for a Greens Master, I highly recommend getting one pre-2003 because it'll come with that awesome, reliable Kawasaki engine. When it comes to cutting the grass, the reel on this thing is a lot more finer and sharper than the one on the McLean and it produces these fine confetti-like clippings. It's such a satisfaction after you mow and you see those clippings and how they look, oh my god, it's fantastic. Another thing that I like about this mower is it's easy to back left. Over here on the side compartment, there's a little dip where you can insert a half inch wrench right into it and you can back lap it really easily using an adapter onto your drill. If you purchase a Greens Master and it's not 100% up to spec, this is a commercial machine so you can find the parts everywhere. I personally get them on eBay and they've been very affordable so far. And that brings me to my last point that I absolutely love about this mower. It produces some insane stripes. The real drum on the back is super heavy. This machine weighs almost as much as me, if you can believe it. And it just rolls down the grass perfect and you just get those nice golf course-like stripes. It's hard for me to really find too many bad things to say about this mower. But the one thing that I will say is that my front main lawn is only about 2,000 total square feet. And sometimes I have a little bit of an issue maneuvering it around. But that's something that just comes with time. You're gonna have to practice how to drive the machine, how to leverage it properly, how to make proper turns. And once you do that, having the tight spaces is not that bad. But I will say it's a little bit of a workout. I always find myself kind of sweating afterwards. So just be prepared for that. 
I personally like mowing my lawn short, but since this is an 89 model, the highest height of cut that I can get on it is 0.5. Maybe I could stretch it to 0.6 if I try. Uh, if you get some of the newer model Greens Masters, they go up to about one inch. If you do purchase one of the first models, just keep in mind that you will only get about a half an inch high to cut, which honestly doesn't bother me because I love having the short grass. If you're just getting into lawn care or you're a seasoned professional like myself, click that subscribe button because there'll be a lot more lawn madness coming your way.